Today I'm going to show you a DIY video how to transfer your drone into a cable cam. This is the whole system of the cable cam. As you can see, the it got two spinning wheel and also the servo and the flight controller and the battery at the at the very below. It's the two axle gimbal plus the action camera. This is the whole system. All right, if you're wondering how I made this uh, cable cam, let's go to the lab and you see how I made it step by step. This is one of the 280 millimeters drone kit, DIY drone kit. So I'm going to use this one to modify it and uh, to make it as uh, a cable cam. Now you can see I removed two of my arms from my drones and only leave two arms and with motor on it. I decided to leave my uh, brushless motor there because they got very good uh, bearing. As you can see the a spin wheel flies very well on those bearings. If you're wondering about where are those uh, spinning wheels come from, it's from my kid's uh, tinker toy. Uh, some pieces like this. So I uh, mount this one on my brushless motor. And also I use knife just to cut it to leave the space for my wiring. As you can see the side, now they got a track that's uh, for my uh, wiring for the both of the spinning wheels after the finish the spinning wheel I'm also install a platform here just using by some uh, used tin um, I just cut it and uh, just mount it on the back uh, this will leave the space for my uh, uh, flight controller because my flight controller sometimes they need a flat surface so this will be sitting on this platform for a flight controller so now I have installed my flight controller on top of this uh, platform using a double side tape this is for my remote controller receiver the next you install my ESC from my brushless motor I'm using the port 6 which I'm not going to use and uh, uh, the main reason for this one is to provide the, the voltage for my uh, servo later because this ESC can regulate the power I'm going to use a 3S lithium uh, battery which will be uh, around 11 volts so this one will just step down the voltage back to uh, 5 volts which will uh, provide the power source for my servo later next step is to mount my PDB board uh, at the back of this uh, uh, cable cam so uh, this ESC this is the power from my 3S battery and also I mount this ESC to the uh, correct positive and negative contact and this is the FlySky receiver, 6 channel receiver. Now, uh, as you can see, I just soldered everything at the back of this main board, circuit board. And uh, I, it seems I need to uh, add a case to it to protect this receiver board. So I managed to find uh, a small plastic case that uh, protect this uh, uh, FlySky 6 channel receiver and uh, put everything inside very nice and the next just to mount this case receiver case to the back of uh, uh, this arm now everything looks very nice the, this is the case for the uh, 6 channel receiver at the back and also I taped this uh, PDB board and uh, leave the, the XT60 uh, uh, interface out and also I use a uh, hoop loop uh, tape a strong tape at the back the double side hoop loop tape and also I uh, using the, the fastener just to uh, tie very firmly the battery this is a 3S battery here um, the main reason I put it the back is just I want to balance this one as you can see the the spin wheel is on the front side and also the camera is on the front side so I want something to uh, to keep the center of the weight and also balance the whole uh, cable cam that is the main reason I put the uh, 
the big battery at the back to uh, to keep the balance. In order to provide a good indication of the position of the cable cam, I installed a three 12 valve LED and also I connected to the uh, main PDB board. So let's give a test, give it a try. So uh, you see this uh, uh, indication uh, is pretty good. Now everything is perfectly down. The flight controller can uh, power on nicely and also remote controller uh, receiver, there's no problem at all. So uh, the next is most important. I need to install the servo, the motor in, in the center. Then uh, I think that will be end of this project. So now I have set up the wires on the two posts and I have a real testing of this uh, spinning wheel. One of the enhancement I did is just I put more big covers onto it. Basically can uh, prevent the spinning wheel slip off from the, the wires. So if you check at the back and you will see that uh, the spinning wheel is fully covered by this uh, uh, plastic wheel. The plastic wheel is also from the, uh, the Tinter toy. So the next is to set up this two axle gimbal here and with my Osmo uh, action and uh, hook up to my 11 volt PDB board. Now this gimbal is on so we can have a um, real test on it. Okay, this is the system. So far, the gimbal worked very well. Let's check out those videos later. And as you can see, it holds up its position very well. Now I got my servo pack from the Amazon, so this is the server pack in the middle. Here I have to do a lot of uh, uh, rework. The flying wheel of the server pack has to be aligned with the flying wheel. So a lot of adjustment has to be done. So as you can see here, I using uh, use the band saw to cut two pieces of wood. And, uh, and basically the servo can sit on it because the wood, the height of the wood can be adjusted. So the spinning wheel collide these two uh, very well in the same level. Also I put on the, the flight controller on top of this wood. And also I do a lot of rewiring work. The channel 6 is connected to one of my brushes and motor to provide the BEC voltage. The spinning wheel I just connect to a, a channel 1. And uh, the rest of the work you have to set up in your uh, flight controller software in order to uh, uh, hook up your uh, uh, remote controller. So now I can see the remote controller, if I put on the yaw, I can see this one, uh, this one turns, and if I yaw left, and you reverse. So let's give a final try. I also purchased this 1.5 millimeters hanging wire it's made of the metal and the plastic as a wrap. So this one will be served as my wiring. Now I have made a lot of adjustment to this uh, cable cam by balancing everything. So as you can see that uh, right now the gimbal is hanging down perfectly at the back. So this is a side video of the system. As you can see the, the whole cable cam is balanced very well. And another main reason of the balancing is because I'm using the flight controller. The flight controller are extremely fuzzy about the balance. If it's a system is not balanced enough, the flight controller will stop work. Right now it's a very balanced hand on the wire. Let's give it a spin. So with the yaw on, turn right. The gimbal, as you can see the gimbal is very stable. Moving back. Remote controller. So I put a tape on the green screen so basically we can review the video at the back so we can know uh, how uh, stabilized the whole system it is. Another side of the system.
All right, this is my uh, cable cam. My DIY cable cam, how to transfer your uh, a drone. In fact, this is 280 millimeters drone. I transfer the drone into a cable cam. So if you like my video, uh, please give a thumb up or subscribe to my channel or leave your uh, valuable uh, comments. I can make more improvement of the whole system.